In this video, we're going to go over some tips and tricks within the Sorter. The Sorter is a playlist feature in Sports Code that allows you to collect, curate, and present footage to your team. Now we're going to jump around the Sorter quite a bit, just so I can show you how you can customize it to your preference. The first thing I want to point out is you can actually move these clips at the bottom to the right hand side. Some teams prefer to see it this way, some other teams prefer to see it this way. Now in the video player itself, a recent update in Sports Code allows you to zoom in on the video player to get a closer look at the action. Or using two fingers, you can also scroll through the video. Now if I want to lengthen or shorten a clip, I can select this option in the top right hand corner. And I can drag this blue bar to shorten or lengthen the clip. Now no, now, no matter if I shorten it or lengthen it, this blue bar is always going to reset to this default position. So if I want to keep lengthening or shortening the clip, I have to keep dragging this blue bar. To go over some of these toggles in the bottom right hand corner, I can loop the video in case I want to share it in a common area within my facility so the players see the video over and over again. I can turn the instance text on and off. I can turn these drawing tools on and off. Or I can also mute the sound on and off. Going into the actual clips themselves, if I want to select multiple clips at once, I can select a number on the left hand side, select another number, hold down the shift key, and it'll select all the clips in between. If I now right click that selection, I can change the color of those clips. This is a good way to categorize your clips in the sorter. Now if I want to navigate the clips, I can select one of these numbers and click tab, and it'll allow me to go down these rows. If I'm in one of the cells themselves and I press tab, it will go through these different columns within one particular clip. Now if I want to go down within one column, say the instance notes column, I can write my note here and then hold down control tab. That's going to go down a cell in the column. That way I can change clips by not ever, but I don't have to necessarily leave the column that I'm in. Control tab. Now if I want to go up one particular column, I would go Control shift tab That will allow me to go up. Now if I don't want to see the text from one of these columns in my clip, I can select this arrow and say Hide from Instance Text. And that now text will disappear from this particular video clip and all other video clips. If I want to hide a column altogether, I can click this arrow again and just go Hide Column. That will remove it from my sort of view. Now that's how I remove the text and the columns for each individual column. But if I want to do multiple columns at a time, I can select this columns button over here and select which columns I want to see and what text I want to see on my video. I can also add slides to my sorter. How I can add slides is that I can open up Keynote. Here's a Keynote slide. And I can drag this thumbnail to the left hand side straight into my sorter. So I can just drag and you'll see this blue line now show up in my sorter and drop it in. This doesn't, only, this doesn't work for uh, PowerPoint slides, this only works for Keynote slides. How I see this implemented in day to day team operations is before a season they'll create a Keynote presentation with all the slides that they know they're going to use throughout the season, whether it's drawings of play calls or opposition personnel, and then they can just drag and drop those into their sorters when they need them. I can also add drawings to the clips themselves. So if I have my clip here, I can add some basic drawing tools on the right hand side, such as arrows, I can free draw, I can add some circles or squares, and I can also add text. In the video clip that's itself, it's going to live within this white bookmark. Now if I go before this white bookmark, the clip is going to stop at that point, show my drawings, and then when I press spacebar again, it's going to continue on. Now I want to talk about how you save your sorter. So when you save your sorter, you have this option at the, at the very bottom to save it either as a standalone sorter or a reference sorter. Now the difference between those two options is, is if I save this sorter as a reference, it requires the original video package to work. So if I delete that video package, or that video package is on a hard drive and I, unplug, and I unplug my hard drive, 
this sorter is no longer going to work. If I save it as a standalone, it's copying that video, which means I can delete the original package, or I can unplug my, unplug my hard drive that has the package on it, and the sorter is still going to work. The pros and cons between these two options, so if I save it as a reference, I can still extend the length of my clips because it still has that original video file to reference. However, if I save it as a standalone, I can't extend the clips because it's only copied over what I originally had. A standalone sorter is also a larger file size. Let's save it as a standalone because I want to show you a new feature that you can actually do now with standalone sorters. So very similar to what we just did with external slides, you can also drag in external video. So if you want to drag in a clip from a movie or you want to drag in a clip that shows best practice from another team, for example, you can drag in a raw .mp4 or .mov straight into your sorter. Now again, you'll see that blue line hover over my sorter clips and I can just drag and drop that clip straight into my presentation. You can only do this with standalone sorters. So let's do it again. Drag my video right into my sorter and just drop it right in there. So finally, we're going to talk about sharing. You can share your sorter in two ways. You can just export it as a raw video, either as a single video file, a video file for each clip, or a video file for each code. And I can toggle on whether the instance text, the drawings that I make, or the slides come along with it. I can also export it straight to my huddle.com page. So if I click the orange huddle logo up here in the top right hand corner, I can select a team I want to send it to, the name of the sorter, and then I can then also toggle on whether they see the text, the drawings, or the slides. So I can actually upload the sorter straight to my huddle team library without actually having to open up the internet. So those were a bunch of tips and tricks within the sorter. Hopefully those helped and I appreciate you watching.